everyone, thanks for clicking on the video. We are gonna make a paper tiger puppet in this video. So, if you have your craft sheet ready, let's go. Uh, I've printed my tiger out on orange card or orange thick paper because I thought that would make it more realistic. Um, you can have yours on white and color it in, do whatever you like. But this is the one I've uh, decided to print mine out on. Now, you are gonna take your time with yours and have more fun with it than I am because I'm going through this like a tutorial. So you should take your time and color all your tiger stripes in and decorate your tiger as best you can. Uh, that's gonna be really good. I'm just gonna show you how to make it. Now, can you see down the side of your sheet here, there are three fold marks. And I would recommend you fold this before you cut it out. It's gonna be way easier for you. So let's show you, fold mark number one is here and it's at the bottom of the tiger's mouth. Do you see I've got a dotted line on both sides? So I'm gonna fold up to that dotted line on both sides of the mouth right the way across lovely fold one is done now that fold line i need to fold all the way up to fold line three and if i line that up there we'll see my fold lines are done well done and that lands perfectly on the second fold line so one two three now this third one I need to fold backwards like this. Sorry, my paper seems to be a bit alive, doesn't it? Like a real tiger here. Okay, and now we can see the puppet appearing before our very eyes. It's gonna be much easier to do those folds uh, with the paper intact rather than after I've cut it out. Because this way, I actually get to see the fold lines because I'm gonna cut the fold lines off, aren't I? Um, so I'm cutting it in rough first. I've cut out the finger and thumb strap and now I'm gonna cut out round the tiger itself. Let's do this nice and neatly. You, of course, would be decorating your tiger at this point, wouldn't you? Adding colors to the stripes, adding some details to make it just like your one and not like anyone else's one. Nice, have fun with that. Okay, that is my tiger cut out. Now I need to do these uh, tabs. You see this is top jaw finger strap and then bottom jaw finger, finger strap or thumb strap. So that just tells us which side of the jaw these straps go on. You see one on the top, one on the bottom. Now I'm gonna use a double-sided tape to stick these down. You can use glue or double-sided tape. I'm going to use double sided tape just because it's going to be more strong more quickly and this is a demo and I need to do this fast. You can take your time so you can use glue, prit stick, just anything like that is fine. You don't have to use double sided sticky tape. <laughs> Sorry everything I'm cutting is flying off the table, you can't see that but it amuses me. Right, let's fold these tab lines back. And that is going to make a hole like that, which we can then slide our fingers into when, uh, when we're performing our little puppet. So let me apply some double-sided sticky tape. Just going to tear off some strips that I'm going to use. So this is the, the shorter one, this is my thumb strap. I'm gonna stick that on down here. There we are. My thumb can go in there at the bottom, that's actually a bit tight for me. I've got quite chubby thumbs. So I'm gonna move that up a little bit. There we go, that's a bit easier. And now, I'm 
Here we are. Our two finger straps are complete, thumb and fingers there, and I can make my tiger talk. Hello everyone! <laughs> Thanks for playing. <laughs> Thanks for playing! Uh, there we go. What a brilliant tiger craft you have just made. You can decorate your tiger to make it way more exciting and interesting than mine. Uh, but if you'd like any more free craft just like this, you can download it all for free from kf.church forward slash G-A-K for God's Animal Kingdom. I hope you have fun downloading more things and I'll see you again soon. All the best. Bye.